this video, we're going to explore how you can combine multiple masks into one super mask. I'm going to start here with my M81, M82 wide field imaging project. And in the processing of this video, I created masks that were aligned with each of the primary galaxies that are in the image. Uh, this is the mask I created for M81. I applied that and I did a bunch of processing on it to bring out the detail I could there. Then for M82, I did the same thing down here. And then there's this third little galaxy up in there and I created another mask for that. But what if now I wanted to do something in an equal way to all three galaxies? I need to create another mask, which is has each of those areas masked off. Well, I could do that, but since I have these masks, isn't there a simple way I can combine these to create one, a union of these masks? And in fact, there is. And I can do that in pixel math. And in pixel math, I'm basically going to use the maximum function. Then I'm going to list all of the masks that um, I would like to combine. And of course, the presumption here is all these masks are exactly the same size and they're associated with an image with the same size. But I can list uh, an arbitrary number of masks that have individual features in there. And I've got the uh, I've got the tool set up so that I'm going to be creating a new image when I execute. So now we can go ahead and execute. And the result of that is an image that has all of the features from the mask that fed into it. And the maximum function has pulled that in and created a group mask. And this can be very handy when you want to do something uh, to a group of objects that you've been working on individually, but you want to do something to keep them consistent 